It feels almost impossible to imagine the world without the burger. A mouth-watering meat patty crowned with any topping you can think of, smothered with cheese and condiments, and placed perfectly between two slices of bread. But it wasn't too long ago that this delicious concoction was just an idea in someone's kitchen. So we're here in New Haven, Connecticut to visit the restaurant where this American classic was born, Louie's Lunch. Having burgers at Louie's is History. You definitely feel a sense of history as soon as you walk in the door. Coming in here was like taking a step back in time. I'm 56 years old and I've been probably coming here since I was 10. I've been coming here for 50 years. I've been coming to Louis my entire life. And the reason that Louis has such a devoted following? The burgers here are fantastic. But the meat truly is first class. Simple, not overdone. So I've eaten a lot of burgers in my day, but I'm really looking forward to eating this original. So tell me about Louis' lunch. Well, we made the first hamburger sandwich in the United States. And when Jeff says the original, he means the very first burger. And if you want to dispute that, then take it up with the Library of Congress because they seem to agree. And when was this burger born? Uh, 1900. 1900. Yes. My great-grandfather was doing steak dinners at the time. A gentleman came in uh, in a great rush one day, mm -hmm. and he said, you know, I, I really got to get going. What can I do? And my great-grandfather thought about it and said, you know, maybe if I chop this up, put it between two slices of bread, we can get going here. And have they changed? ever since? The only addition has been cheese and that was in the 1950s. We gotta try one of these. Let's do it. So Audrina, how would you like your burger? Um, medium well with tomatoes, light onion, um, cheese, and ketchup. And what? And ketchup. Can you get ketchup at Louie's Lunch? I don't believe so. <laughs> I knew not to order ketchup. No, you don't, you don't go that way at all. There's no condiments because we cut and grind our meat fresh every day. We want you to taste it and enjoy it as opposed to covering it up. So what kind of meat do you use? Five different blends, oh, but wow. that's our only secret. And staying true to their creation, the patties are topped with onion slices and set in Louie's signature upright stoves, while slices of bread, not buns, are toasted and slathered with cheese. The uh, grills are the original, the date is cast in the side of each one, 1898, and the toaster is from uh, 1929. They're still going, they still work. And now, for one historic bite. Yeah, you're right, this does not need ketchup. The meat, it's so juicy, and I love the cheese. It's a combination of simplicity and just goodness. It's just uh, the perfect burger. I'm just gonna keep eating, that's fine, right? <laughs> I feel like I've eaten a piece of history today, and it was amazing. Now, Louis Lunch has the original, but Connecticut also has another classic. I had not had a steamed burger before I came to Ted's. I have never had a steamed burger. I've never even heard of a steamed burger. Other people steam their burgers, but nobody does it better than Ted's. Created in the early 1900s to feed construction workers from food carts that lined city streets, the steamed burger's legacy continues to live on here at Ted's. First thing we're going to do, we're going to pack our trays with the meat and cheese. Okay. So you're going to want to take one of the meatballs and put it right into there. Just pack it in. Exactly. You don't want to pack it too firm because we don't want to make it oh. really dense. We want it to stay nice and light and fluffy. And then bring on the steam. So open up the top. All you got to do is take your finger and just pull it out a little bit. And the door will pop really open. It's really hot. Woo! <laughs> and then just slide the tray in. Well, that's cooking. What do we do next? All right. So we got to have cheese too, right? That is a lot of cheese. We portion it out, fill up another tray, and slide that into its own steamer to melt. <clears throat> and what kind of cheese is this? It is a cheddar. We won't tell you any more than that, because unfortunately, you're not family yet, so. Just like at Louie's, the secret to a stellar burger at Ted's may, in fact, be the secret. But unlike Louie's, you can construct this burger any way you please. This one, I'm going to use ketchup. Now the meat. Tip it just a little bit to drain some of the fats and oils out. That is a lot of fat and oil. In a normal patty, when you grill it, all that stays inside exactly. the patty. Exactly, exactly. We're letting all that out, but the natural flavor of the meat and the natural juices keep it moist. See, these are my kind of burgers. Now it's all about the cheese. There oh my go. gosh, look at that. And that's it. Okay, steamed cheeseburger, ready to go. Oh, it's coming off the back. <laughs> It's meaty, like you can taste the flavor of the meat. We don't put anything into it. It's juicy, but without the grease in it. Steaming it really sealed in the flavor as well as the moisture. The appeal of the burger is amazing. It's the best. This steamed burger is incredible, so thank you for sharing this with me. Thanks for coming, we appreciate it. From the original meaty masterpiece to the standout steamer, Connecticut's got your burger needs covered. I'm gonna finish this.